Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Shawarma. A favorite street food worldwide, including Libya. It consists of seasoned and grilled meat, often beef or chicken, wrapped in flatbread and topped with vegetables and sauces. Shawarma is a popular Middle Eastern street food that has gained popularity around the world. It's made by stacking seasoned meat, typically chicken, beef, lamb, or a combination, on a vertical rotisserie. The meat is then slowly roasted and shaved off as it cooks, resulting in tender and flavorful slices. Shawarma is often served in pita bread or flatbread, along with various toppings and sauces. Here's how shawarma is typically prepared. Ingredients. Thinly sliced marinated meat, chicken, beef, lamb, or a mix. Pita bread or flatbread. Toppings, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Sauces, tahini, garlic sauce, hummus, etc. Seasonings and marinades, often including garlic, lemon juice, yogurt, and various spices. Instructions. Marinate the meat. The meat is typically marinated in a mixture of yogurt, lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, and a blend of spices. The marination process helps to infuse the meat with flavor and tenderize it. Stacking on the rotisserie. The marinated meat slices are stacked on a vertical rotisserie in layers. The layers of meat create a cone shape. Slow roasting. The stacked meat cone is slowly rotated and cooked as it turns on the rotisserie. The outer layers of the meat cook and get crispy, while the inner layers remain tender. Slicing the meat. As the meat cooks, it is shaved off the outer layers using a long knife or slicing tool. This results in thin slices of flavorful and juicy meat. Assembling the shawarma. The shaved meat is typically served in pita bread or flatbread. The bread is usually warmed before assembling. Toppings like lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and sometimes pickles are added for freshness and crunch. Sauces and condiments. A variety of sauces and condiments can be added to shawarma, such as tahini, sesame sauce, garlic sauce, hummus, and spicy sauces. These sauces enhance the flavors and provide a creamy element to the dish. Rolling or folding. The pita bread is often rolled around the meat and toppings, creating a wrap-like structure. Some variations may involve folding the bread or serving it open-faced. Katayef. A sweet dessert made during special occasions. It's a stuffed pancake filled with ingredients like nuts, cheese, or sweet cream. Katayef, also spelled katayef or katayef, is a popular Middle Eastern dessert often enjoyed during special occasions, particularly during the holy month of Ramadan. It consists of small stuffed pancakes that can be either sweet or savory. The sweet version is more common and is usually served as a dessert. Here's how to make sweet katayef. Ingredients. For the katayef dough. 2 cups all-purpose flour, 2 teaspoons active dry yeast, 1 teaspoon sugar, 1 teaspoon baking powder, pinch of salt, 1.5 cups warm water. For the filling, 1 cup finely chopped nuts, such as walnuts, pistachios, or almonds, 1 quarter cup sugar, 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon. For assembling and cooking, cooking oil, for frying, 1 cup simple sugar syrup, sugar dissolved in water and boiled to form a syrup. Instructions. For the dough, in a bowl, dissolve the yeast and sugar in warm water. Let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes until frothy. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, baking powder, and salt. Gradually add the yeast mixture to the dry ingredients while stirring. Mix until you have a smooth batter. Cover the bowl with a cloth and let the batter rest and rise for about 30 minutes. For the filling, mix the chopped nuts, sugar, and ground cinnamon in a bowl. This will be the filling for the katayef. Assembling and cooking. Heat a non-stick skillet over medium heat. You can use a katayef pan or a regular skillet. Pour a small amount of batter onto the skillet to create a small, round pancake, about 3 to 4 inches in diameter. Cook the pancake on one side until bubbles form on the surface and the edges start to lift. Remove the pancake from the skillet and place it on a clean cloth or paper towel. This is the katayef shell. While the shell is still warm, fold it in half, leaving one side open, like a half-moon shape. Fill the open side of the katayef shell with a spoonful of the nut filling. Pinch the open edge of the katayef to seal it, creating a crescent shape with the filling enclosed. Repeat the process with the remaining batter and filling. Frying. In a deep skillet or pan, heat cooking oil over medium heat. Gently place the stuffed katayef in the hot oil, seam side down. 
Fry until the cat IF turns golden brown and crispy on both sides. Remove the cat IF from the oil and drain on paper towels to remove excess oil. Serving. Serve the fried cat IF while they are still warm. Drizzle simple sugar syrup over the cat IF. The syrup will add sweetness and moisture to the dessert. Fish sandwiches. Coastal areas offer fresh fish sandwiches, usually grilled and served in bread with vegetables and sauces. Fish sandwiches are a popular and delicious choice for a quick meal or snack. They can vary in style and ingredients, but generally, they involve cooked fish placed between slices of bread or in a bun, along with various toppings and sauces. Fish sandwiches are often enjoyed in coastal regions and areas with easy access to fresh seafood. Here's how you can make a basic fish sandwich. Ingredients For the fish, fresh fish fillets, such as cod, haddock, tilapia, or catfish. Salt and pepper. Flour, for coating. Egg wash, beaten eggs. Bread crumbs or panko, for coating. Cooking oil, for frying. For assembling. Bread or sandwich buns. Lettuce, tomato slices, and other vegetables, optional. Tartar sauce or other condiments. Instructions. Prep the fish. Rinse the fish fillets and pat them dry with paper towels. Season with salt and pepper. Coating the fish. Set up a breading station with three bowls one with flour, one with beaten eggs, and one with breadcrumbs or panko. Dip each fish fillet in the flour, then the egg wash, and finally the breadcrumbs or panko, pressing gently to adhere. Frying the fish. Heat cooking oil in a skillet over medium-high heat. The oil should be hot but not smoking. Carefully place the coated fish fillets in the hot oil and cook until they are golden brown and crispy on both sides, usually about 3 to 4 minutes per side. Remove the cooked fish from the oil and drain on paper towels to remove excess oil. Assembling the sandwiches. Slice the bread or buns and lightly toast them if desired. Place a lettuce leaf on the bottom half of each bread slice or bun. Top with a cooked fish fillet. Adding toppings and sauces. Add tomato slices and any other desired toppings, such as onions or pickles. Drizzle tartar sauce or other condiments over the fish. Closing the sandwiches. Place the top half of the bread or bun over the toppings to complete the sandwich. Serving. Serve the fish sandwiches while they're still warm. They can be enjoyed as a main meal or cut into smaller portions for a snack. Variations. You can use different types of bread, such as hoagie rolls, baguettes, or even tortillas for a wrap-style fish sandwich. Experiment with different types of fish to suit your taste preferences. Customize the toppings and condiments to your liking. Coleslaw, cheese, and various sauces can all add different flavors and textures to the sandwich. Libyan sausages. Spiced sausages made from lamb or beef, often grilled and served with bread or vegetables. Libyan sausages, also known as merguez sausages, are a popular street food and culinary delight in Libya. Merguez sausages are originally North African and are also enjoyed in countries like Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. These sausages are known for their bold and flavorful spices, making them a favorite among those who enjoy savory and slightly spicy dishes. Here's how Libyan sausages, merguez, are typically prepared. Ingredients. For the sausage, ground lamb or beef, or a combination. Spices, such as paprika, cumin, coriander, red pepper flakes, and garlic. Salt and black pepper. Casing for sausages, natural or synthetic casings. For serving. Bread or baguette, optional toppings and condiments, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, harissa sauce, etc. Instructions. Mixing the sausage ingredients. In a large bowl, combine the ground meat with the spices, salt, and black pepper. The spice blend is essential for the unique flavor of the sausages. Use a mixture of paprika, cumin, coriander, red pepper flakes, and garlic to create the distinctive taste. Kneading the mixture. Mix the ingredients thoroughly, kneading the meat and spices together until well combined. This step helps to distribute the flavors evenly throughout the sausage mixture. Stuffing the sausages. If using natural casings, soak them in water to soften them. Then, carefully stuff the sausage mixture into the casings, making sure to eliminate any air pockets. Twist the sausages at regular intervals to create individual links. Shaping and drying. If using synthetic casings, you can shape the sausages without twisting. Once the sausages are formed, you can let them rest in a cool place for a while to allow the flavors to meld. Cooking. Libyan sausages can be grilled, pan-fried, or even baked in an oven. 
They're typically cooked until they are browned and cooked through, which usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the cooking method and the thickness of the sausages. Serving. Once cooked, Libyan sausages are often served in bread or baguette, similar to a sandwich. They can be topped with various ingredients such as lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and harissa sauce, a spicy North African chili paste that adds an extra kick to the dish. Dates. Fresh and dried dates are commonly enjoyed as a quick, natural snack. Dates are the fruit of the date palm tree and are well known for their sweet and rich flavor. They have been a staple food in various cultures for thousands of years due to their nutritional value and versatility. Dates are not only enjoyed as a snack on their own but are also used in cooking and baking to add natural sweetness and texture to dishes. Here's some information about dates. Varieties. There are numerous varieties of dates, each with its own flavor, size, and texture. Some popular varieties include Majul, Deglet Noor, Bari, and Zahidi. Nutritional Benefits. Dates are not only delicious but also packed with nutrients. They are a good source of fiber, natural sugars, mainly glucose and fructose, vitamins, such as B vitamins and vitamin K, and minerals, including potassium, magnesium, and copper. Due to their high sugar content, they are a quick source of energy. Fresh and dried dates. Dates can be enjoyed both fresh and dried. Fresh dates have a softer texture and are usually less sweet compared to dried dates. Dried dates are chewy, slightly wrinkled, and have a more concentrated sweetness. Culinary uses. Dates can be enjoyed in various ways. As a snack. Eaten on their own for a quick energy boost. In cooking. Used in both sweet and savory dishes. They can be stuffed with nuts or cheese, added to salads, and used in rice dishes. In baking. Commonly used in cakes, cookies, energy bars, and other baked goods to add natural sweetness and moisture. In smoothies. Blended into smoothies for natural sweetness and added nutrition. Date syrup. Dates can be used to make a natural sweetener known as date syrup or date honey. Health benefits. Due to their nutrient content, dates may offer health benefits such as improved digestion, increased energy, and potential antioxidant properties. However, they are also calorie-dense due to their sugar content, so moderation is advised. Cultural significance. Dates hold cultural significance in various societies, particularly in Middle Eastern and North African cultures, where they are often offered as a gesture of hospitality and served during religious occasions. Buying and storage. When buying dates, look for plump, unbroken fruits with glossy skin. Store them in a cool, dry place or the refrigerator to extend their shelf life. Dried dates can be stored for several months, while fresh dates should be consumed within a few weeks.